welcome back to another video today. This is going to be pretty interesting. I've been waiting to do this for a while and uh, it's kind of a cloudy day. There's nothing else to do, so why not get it done? And that thing that we are going to do is going to be a bow guard. I've wanted one of these for a while. We are getting some scratches from that roller. I'm going to show you those now and then we'll show you how this works. Alrighty guys, so down here on the front of the boat, this roller causes quite a bit of scuffs. Now ignore the mess that you see over here because there's a lot of stuff going on. I might blur that, so if it's blurry, that is why. There's a lot of stuff in the garage. We can barely get the boat around, but today is the perfect day to get this installed. Now it's universal. I got the smaller one, they do make larger ones. Pretty cheap, got it from Bass Pro and it's gonna go up a little ways from the hook. I'll show you exactly where I'm getting scratches. You can see right here, there's two scratches. There's some more up under here and there's really no way to prevent it. Um, there's a couple down in here that you can see. There's no way to prevent it um, unless you just have like some super soft roller. So I do not run the boat up to the roller. I actually just keep it down and then I more or less winch it to the roller, but we're still getting scratches. This is gonna fix it. So we're gonna be using this uh, jack here. We have a board and then a sandbag sitting on top of it. The sandbag is nice and soft. It does have plenty of give to it. I use the same exact sandbag to hold the front of the trailer down all the time. So we're gonna be holding the trailer down. We're gonna unhook, loosen the strap. We're gonna lift on the bottom of the boat. The wheels are chalked. Once we get this lifted just enough, we're gonna clean it and then we are going to apply it. Alrighty, so we have this. That's all you need. That's all the gap you need. Now we're gonna get this opened, get it installed. You can see exactly where it's rolling. This is not dirt. This is actually where it's scuffed up. So it's starting to scuff from here, which is usually probably where I hit it in the water. And then it rolls down. And then that line is where it sits right here. This is scuffed. It's not dirt. guys here it is what do you think that looks so much better I really like the stainless that looks awesome so everything went on really well one thing to make sure you make note of is you want to get this high enough to where your actual scuffs start because if it's too low and you hit I personally don't want the roller to hit the boat and then hit the plate which could pop it off possibly I'm not sure uh, I'm going to give this a day or two to fully cure. Uh, it's not going into the water. Like I said, we have a lot of other stuff going on anyway, so we're not going to the lake for a little bit. Now, they do sell different sizes, so if you got the larger size, then I think you'd even be more better off. But this was a super cheap little accessory that every boat should have to protect it so you don't get any more damage. Um, I'm going to grab the receipt real quick, see what the actual cost was, but I'm pretty sure it was like 20 bucks. so why not buy it? adds a little touch to the front of the boat protects the boat alrighty guys so hope you enjoyed the quick little video we're gonna get this boat back in the garage the next time you see it it will be in the new garage so we'll definitely have to do a test fit it's a little different of a garage it arches a little bit it's same dimensions uh, it's a little deeper so definitely gonna be doing a video on that showing how it fits in the new one for anybody who else um, didn't see a previous video of how it fit so let's get this thing back in. Next time you see it'll be in the new house. We will be at the lake before you know it. And hope everybody have a good day. Stay tuned, like, subscribe. See you later.